Man, Buddha cichlids are one of the most popular and widely sold African cichlids on the market today, and they have been for a long time. In this video, I'm going to be going over some of the most um, commonly asked questions on the internet on the Emin Buddha cichlids and giving you my experiences when I used to keep them. Those will not be televised, not be televised, there be no Ray Ron brothers and sisters, the revolution will be live. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? What is up, all you Stone Cold, Superfly, Illmatic, Fish Keeping Funkadelics? You watch Aquafunk Aquatics with me, Aquafunk. I'm gonna be going over Mambula Cichlids. And if there's one thing I want you to get out of this, is that I really, really like saying Mambula. Mambula, 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 Mambula. All right, so Mambula Cichlids, right? And we've all heard of them. We've all heard some of the bad things about it. We all heard some of the... But let me give you my pros and cons over the Mambula Cichlid. Let's start out with the pros, okay? Number one, color. Come on, man. The color on the Mambula Cichlid, as far as fresh water goes, just pure color. I'm not talking about patterns or anything like that because they don't really have a whole lot of patteration. Patteration. They do have some some real stunning striking color. So, you know, the colors is definitely a problem. Price! Price! The Mambunas are, are, are fairly cheap. You can get them at your big box store for anywhere from five to ten dollars. If you go look at the mixed in Buna tank, you know, about they're about an inch and a half long, two inches maybe, and uh can't really beat the price, man. I mean and the size, okay? They don't get that big. I'm gonna say roughly about five inches um, is normally what I see in people's tank. Uh, I've heard, you know, a couple of other things like maybe the bumblebee or the venustis or whatever. Well, the venustis they really don't, cons it's not a mimbuna, but for some reason I always see them in mimbuna tanks. Um, those will get bigger, um, but um, you know, they're, they're, they're size. You don't have to keep chasing bigger tanks. You can get them in a fairly decent sized tank. Um, honestly, I've seen a 55 packed with members. That brings me to another issue. You can put a lot of Mambunas in a tank together. In fact, um, it's almost recommended. Let me explain to you why. The Mambunas is a very, very uh, aggressive fish. Okay, when there's not a lot of fish in the tank, the Mimbuna has the time to focus on one fish. Whereas when you have a lot of fish in the tank, it spreads the aggression out. Hear what I'm saying? A packed tank doesn't make them less aggressive, it just spreads out the aggression. So instead of the fish picking on one, it's more like, yo, I'm gonna go back at you, dog. You mind? I'm gonna take. You, 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 come here. Come here. I gotta talk to you, dude. I gotta talk to you. Oh, so now you're going to shoot me in the pinky toe. It's kind of like that. Mambuna, 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 Mambuna. Hardiness. The Mambunas is a very hardy, hardy fish, okay? Um, little stocky things, you know what I mean? Kind of like somebody else you might know. <laughs> Feeding. They'll take just about any form of food. Okay, flakes, pellets, sticks, dried, freeze dried, uh, dead animal, you know, frozen live food. They'll take it all. But listen, as fun as it is to watch them feed on live foods or go after that meaty stuff, you gotta you gotta mix it up a little bit. You gotta mix it up. They need that nice diet. They're omnivorous. They need a little bit of everything. pH. Now, the African cichlid likes a high pH, okay? Put a little bit of uh, crushed coral in there, that'll buffer your pH kind of high if you have low pH. But, if you don't like the look of, of crushed coral, that's okay. Because the Mambuna cichlid, whereas it likes the high pH, the 8.0, 8.2, da 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 da, has been living fine at 7.5. So, I'm thinking a lot of people have 7.8 because that seems to be the going number in most people's um, tap water, uh, at least that I know of, 
So you really don't have to mess around with the pH trying to get it lower or higher. All right, let's talk about scaping gun. Scaping is probably the cheapest, the cheapest fish you can get to decorate a tank is probably the mint moon cichlid. They tear up plants, so live plants is not necessary. In fact, I wouldn't even do it. You can get yourself some, some um, pool filter sand, cheap at any pool supply store. You can go out and acquire some rocks, decent sized rocks, and build up some rocks. That's really all they need. Anything else, honestly, you're kind of wasting your money because they're just going to mess it up. I just like Sam and Boona. Let's talk about some of the cons. They're uber aggressive. So, like I mentioned earlier, um, you want to have a packed tank to defuse the aggression. This bug is driving me nuts, man. But you want to stick with them and boom, pound for pound, they are they are really, really rough, tough fish. Um, so you want to stick with the Mimbuna species, okay? Um, I'm not saying that you can't put other fish in there with them. South American cichlids, maybe sharks and stuff like that. I've seen all these fish with them. But uh, to be on the safe side, keep a Mimbuna only tank. Like I said, I'm not saying you can't do it. Anything is possible with enough research, time, and attention. Just not recommended. Another con, I talked about it a little earlier, was, uh, you know, um, their, their diet. And Mimbunas can get sick from all the same old sicknesses that all the other fish do, but they normally don't. Um, but the one sickness that they seem to be prone to get is bloat. And that comes from... That comes from not having a well-balanced diet. They need that vegetation, y'all. You need to mix it up. Meat and veggies, meat and veggies, meat and veggies. All right, so what are the water parameters? What are we talking about as how to keep these fish uh, if you're doing a Mimbuna on the tank? Well, pH, they like it high. Anywhere from 7.5 to 8.2, anywhere in there is fine. Temperature, keep the temperature 80 degrees. You got to remember where these guys come from. Um, size of the tank, listen, I've seen, I personally kept them in a 40 breeder and up, but I've also seen them in 29s and uh, that was interesting and I'll tell you why a little later on. I did talk about, I did talk about how I don't really suggest you keep these fish with other, with other type of species of fish. The only exception to that would be the scavengers. If you want some scavengers for these tanks, the um, Cynodonis family of catfish does well. You can also get those at some of your big box stores. The lace Cynodonis, I see all the time, and uh, it's not that expensive. A little bit more expensive than the actual Mimbuna, but it's a really cool catfish. As far as algae eaters, well, Mimbunas will pick algae all day long. That's why their mouth looks kind of funny like that. But if you insist on getting an algae eater, this is the one time I would say get like a common Placo or one of the bigger, beefier Placos. I would stay away from the smaller Placos, like uh, the bristle nose and stuff like that. Um, just not big enough to handle, you know, some of the some of the um, picking that the Mimbuna might do. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. I had me this. 39, 38, I can't remember which one it was, I, that number kind of, I lose that number all the time, 29, it was a 39 or a 38, you know, the tall, tall ones, I used to keep snakes and uh, monitors and lizards and stuff and like that, and um, this was before I really, really got into fish, the brace, the center brace on that tank really used to get in my way, so I cut it, what do I need it for, all it does is the snake will wrap its tail around it or the snake will actually wrap around it. So I cut it. I had this tank sitting. I said, you know what? I got this tank here. I'm not messing around with snakes no more. Let me go ahead and get some fish. I'm gonna get the Mimbunas. Alright? So I got I got the Mimbuna. And I put him in the tank. This tank was awesome. Like it was beautiful. I had white sand, white rocks, blacked out. Um 
it was going nice. I was putting, I was putting um um instant ocean salt in there. That instant ocean salt kind of brings out their colors a little bit more. Crazy filtration. I think I had like two penguins on this, two the big penguins, two of the big penguins on the uh on the on on this uh, 39. Anyway, my homeboy from the army came to visit me one day. Him and his wife, his kid, they came to visit me. And uh, he looked at my tank and he was like, oh, is that salt? Look, everybody thought my tank was a salt water tank. When I used to work at the pet stores, people used to go past the Mimbunas and thinking they were salt water tanks because they're so colorful. So we're standing there, we're looking at the fish, you know, I'm standing there like, yeah. You like that, huh? It's nice. He's over here like, So as we're staring at this tank, this tank been up for months now, I'm going to let you know. Been up for months. Never had a problem. And like you guessed it, out of nowhere, pop! The tank breaks, the fish comes pouring water, the fish come pouring out the front of it, all over the thing. Man, we spent that first day, we done pulled out every towel, every bed sheet. We had dirty clothes, just trying to sop up all that water. And uh, that was my first experience with the Mimbunas. Now, I grabbed all the Mimbunas off the floor and whatever I could, and I had to hurry up and get me a new tank. I got me a 40 breeder this time around, right? This is where things start going right. The filters worked. The sand, I just got a little bit more sand. Everything was worked, but it was in a 40 breeder, and I realized the 40 breeder was way better fit for these fish because when it was in that 39 or 38 they would stay by the rocks the rocks were only about um, one third of the way up so they would stay low by the rocks they're not rock dwellers but they like to stay by the rocks so when I got to 40 you know the rocks went up higher in the tank so the fish filled the tank out way better And I was real happy about that. So if I ever get Mambunas again, it's gonna be in a 40. I just like the way they fill out the tank. I do gotta say one thing though. This is one thing that I don't like about Mambunas. Mambunas sickly, look, if, you in, if you're gonna get Mambunas thinking that you're gonna have this majestic, peaceful, tranquil aquarium, don't get Mimbunas. These fish move fast all the time. And with the temperature I had at 80, that probably helped. Um, the food I was giving them, which was premium food, that helped. They were doing what they were doing. Pachoom, 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 darting everywhere. They were always constantly on the move fast. It wasn't like angels. Angels kind of like, you know. They, they just, wah, zoom, bang, they fast. Everywhere they went, they went fast. Not to mention, Mambuna cichlids have tank bosses. That means there's one fish that decides he wanted, like it's a, it's a, like it's an episode of Oz on HBO. Like one fish has to be in control, and then he got his 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 uh, right hand man, and his right hand man is is, is, is always you, you see him, it, you know, doing it's like a drama playing out in front of you. There's always action. But there will be occasion, it's actually often, these fish um, change roles all the time. One will beat up the, the tank boss, now he's the tank boss, now the one that was the tank boss, now he's the he's the punk of the tank. It's just, it, it's very, it wasn't very peaceful, it was a, it was a, it, it was a source of stress is what it was. I could, I, I would look at the tank and just get anxious, and just mad, and I think that's one of the reasons why I, I, I lean towards the more majestic angel. Not because I don't like Mambudas. Like I said, I like saying Mambudas. It's just that Mambudas, if you're the type of person that you want action, you always want to come home and be like, what happened? What's going on? Uh, who's, who's the, where's so-and-so? Did y'all, did y'all beat them up? If you constantly want drama, this is, the, this is the fish for you. Serious up. 
Um, they're easy to get everywhere. Ha you know, every big box store has them, and they're fairly cheap. Now, mind you, some of the more fancier ones, or you have to, you know, search for them and maybe pay a little bit extra scratch. But if you keep going to LFSs and look at their mixed in Mimbunas, you will find some gems for cheap, like five to ten bucks. So that's that's my spiel on the Mimbunas. Like I said, it's it's an awesome fish. Um, it's just they gangster. Just like saying, Mabuna, 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 Mabu